Boy, if you don't. Yo, what is going on, YouTube? My name is Richard Radaway. Right Hopefully, you guys are having a wonderful day, man. Today, I'm bringing you guys another Call of Duty World War II video. Now, in today's video, guys, I'm going to be breaking down the brand new update for World War II that dropped last night. So, this update dropped, I believe, at like 1.30 in the morning, uh, Eastern Standard Time, which was actually pretty crazy. I was literally just chilling. I went out to get Wendy's. I was hungry late night, and all of a sudden, bam, we get a brand new update. I'm like, what the hell? Because I usually drop updates at like 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I'm like, okay, whatever, what just happened? So anyway, yes, we got a brand new update, uh, patch update 1.05 for World War II. It's now live for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, and I'm going to be breaking down everything you guys need to know because there were some, there were some pretty major changes, honestly. There were some buffs, some nerfs, some, you know, general uh, bugs and glitch fixes and stuff like that. So hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. If you guys do, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. And with all that being said, man, let's jump right into it so i will have the charlie incel article in the description so if you guys want to click it and read everything and all the patch notes for yourself you guys can so make sure to do that but i'm gonna have a picture on the screen right now so starting off with the general sort of issues uh that we'll kind of you know talk about some of the general things that they fixed they didn't fix a lot of the things and actually when they when this update went live the servers were really really bad and i'm pretty sure they're still bad at this very moment uh no one can really get into lobbies and it was just all screwed up so their servers are really bad and when they released this update the servers got even worse which kind of sucks so uh with the general updates connectivity uh improvements and optimizations uh yeah that's just I, I don't know what that means because literally when the update dropped people couldn't find lobbies people couldn't connect to each other and uh, there was extreme extreme lag with everyone so i don't know what that is sledgehammer get your stuff together <laughs> because it's kind of insane that you say connectivity improvements and optimizations yet everyone was lagging when this update went out so it's kind of crazy i don't know what they're really talking about either way moving on to the next point fix deranking issues which is very very good because i know a lot of people a lot of people personally you know people who are like my friends and stuff like that they would go into custom games and then all of a sudden they would get deranked when they went back into multiplayer so they fixed that issue which is good and that was really really needed man because i go into custom games sometimes to you know play with my friends or get some screenshots and whatnot and uh, i was always nervous to go into custom games because of that deranking glitch so now you can go into custom games and you won't be deranked which is good because no one wants to get deranked on world war ii uh either way moving on address an issue where players encountered an infinite load screen i have personally experienced this a lot and i know my buddies i tank kid and green goblin i always play with them and they were experiencing this too along with tons of other people so the infinite loading screen that was a major major problem and that was very annoying so they addressed an issue and uh, hopefully that is fixed and we will not see that ever again because that was just really really bad uh next leaderboard stability improvements and bug fixes which is really really good because yesterday i talked about the number one player uh, on the leaderboards basically and uh, i said that the leaderboards were a little bit glitched and a little bit bugged so they fixed that a uh, general ui improvements loading optimizations split screen functionality improvements uh all those are pretty awesome moving on added new unlock inventory stars to indicate when new items are added which is really really good uh adjust hit marker uh, audio to be higher uh, default level uh note can be adjusted in settings so that's pretty awesome actually the the hit marker sound can now be adjusted to where you want it to be so if you want the hit marker sounds to be a little bit higher so you know exactly when you get a hit marker on someone you guys can change that next fix out of world exploits on gustav cannon and saint marie dumont which uh you know i actually did see a lot of videos on youtube with people going outside the maps on those maps specifically for like hide and seek and stuff like that so they fix those which is good uh you know sometimes uh, you know out of the map glitches are fun just to kind of see what's you know outside the maps but uh yeah they fix those uh next is this this one's major this one's so so major and huge and something that was very much needed so espionage basic training they reduced painted time for 10 seconds to six made it so only bullet damage paints you which is Oh my god, this is probably the biggest thing in the patch update, because if you guys don't know what espionage does, basically, if you tag anyone with your bullet, if you hit someone with a grenade, as well as, uh, sort of like a concussion, they will show up on the minimap, and they will be painted on the minimap for 10 seconds, which was literally insane. So if you're running, like, a party with, like, three or four people, I, I always play with, you know, I tank getting, uh, Green Goblin, and if everyone's running espionage, throwing nades, throwing concussions, getting hit markers, 
and the enemies will show up on the minimap for 10 seconds and that's literally like a hater or like a like a vsat or like a you know a blackbird or whatever so it's really really insane so now they reduce the 10 second paint time to six seconds and only bullet damage makes you paint it on the map which is very good i know people would literally just throw concussions across the map and uh, just to tag people so they are on the mini map so it was a little bit overpowered and this was something that really really needed to be fixed and thank god they did man because i i was getting annoyed and uh, i was also a person who would sort of like exploit this glitch with a couple of my buddies and uh, i was just like this is so unfair like it, it's cool and all because you know we can just i can't kind of exploit this you know throw nades get hit markers and they're on the mini map it's, it's good it's a good strategy but in other words it, it's kind of broken it's very very op and this needed to be fixed and they finally came through with the patch update uh, for espionage which i am super super happy about so i know a lot of people were complaining about that i know a lot of people were sort of annoyed with that and they fixed it which is awesome so moving on to the next point weapon tuning to allow uh, for one shot kills outside of hardcore mode enabling challenge completion so uh, that's very awesome fixed infinite flamethrower bug personally i never even knew that was in the game i never knew there was an infinite flamethrower bug let me know in the comment section if you guys have ever experienced this or you saw someone literally using a flamethrower and they could just keep using it because it was infinite i have never seen that but just imagine a freaking infinite flamethrower uh, i'm glad they fixed that bug because that seems very very overpowered and very crazy but i personally have never experienced that in world war ii and i play a lot of world war ii so i guess there was just a minor issue with that but personally i've never seen that so uh moving on xp earn rate tuned in uh operation neptune which is actually a war game mode so that's always cool fix issues of shotgun variants not appearing i don't even know if i have a shotgun variant i'm not even sure i have a lot of you know submachine guns ars you know some snipers and stuff like that but i'm not too sure if i have, even have a uh, a shotgun variant so uh but you know if you do now they show up which is cool emblem editor and visualization improvements which is kind of nice game battle improvements as well as fix gridiron ball exploits so that's basically all of the sort of general issues that's the general sort of bug fixes and glitch fixes so that's kind of crazy they fix a lot of stuff the espionage basic training one was definitely the biggest one on that list but now we are going to move over to the multiplayer uh, weapon tuning updates which is very very important this is the stuff that pretty much you guys may want to make sure uh and want to keep up to date with because these are the changes that will change the actual gameplay and the weapons itself uh so you want to pay attention to the buffs and nerfs of the weapons uh in every single update for world war ii which i will be covering on the channel so make sure you guys drop a like as well as subscribe so moving on to the buffs guys we have the toggle action shotgun damage increase at extremely close range so that's very very interesting because i personally i uh, used the toggle action shotgun a little bit and it seemed like the brekkie it seemed like the brekkie from black ops 3 it seemed a little bit overpowered and they actually um got this thing a buff so from extremely close range the damage has increased which is very very interesting so i'm not too sure if there's going to be a uh, sort of like an influx of people using the toggle action shotgun now which would be quite annoying because this thing is literally like the brekkie of world war 2 and considering that they increased the damage from extremely close range i don't really know what that means like i don't know if they have to be literally like an enemy is, is directly in front of them like in their freaking gun barrel like i don't really know what that means um but hopefully it's not too overpowered and not too crazy in world war ii so moving on to the next one we have the bren lmg increase damage per shot which is very very awesome because i actually have a uh heroic uh variant of the bren so i definitely want to test that out i definitely want to use that the bren is a pretty good lmg i'm not too much of a fan of the lmgs in world war ii just because of how slow it is already with the boots on the ground so if you're using an lmg you're running even slower and uh that's really not that good that's really not too uh you know optimized and best you know for uh a world war ii type game so i'm not really too much of a fan of the the lmgs in this game but uh, either way moving on we have the lmg bipod it sped up ads time when in bipod stands so uh, i actually have never used that feature before in world war ii either just that just shows how much i use uh, you know lmgs in this game but those are all the buffs guys nothing really too crazy with the buffs uh, but moving on to the nerfs we have the bar rifles now the bar is probably the best assault rifle in world war ii and what they did to the bar was they decreased the fire rate and why did the hip fire spread so a lot of people were actually wondering okay is the bar officially broken is it worse now because the bar was pretty much the best and most overpowered weapon in the game and they decreased the fire rate now i was actually thinking what if this is better for the weapon because if they decrease the fire rate it won't be as fast and you can maybe hit even more bullets and more shots on the enemies that's just a thought i'm not too sure if the gun is completely broken i really don't think it's completely broken and it's definitely definitely still usable and you will definitely see a lot of people still using the bar um but you know they gave it a nerf i don't think it's a drastic change they decreased the fire rate which i don't think is too crazy uh 
uh, but that's what they did to the bar. So you could probably still use it in multiplayer. Uh, do not worry. Next, they have the SCG-44. They widen the hip fire spread with this weapon. I know it was pretty crazy. You know, people were just hip firing with the SCG, and it was kind of, you know, insane. So uh, moving on, FG-42 rifle increased recoil and widen the hip spread. The machine pistol, they decreased the damage ranges. And for the sniper class, they fixed a bug where all sniper rifles zooming to extract center when aiming down the sight. So they nerf the sniper rifle class. I'm not too sure what that has to do with anything. But moving on to zombies, I'm not too much of a zombies person, uh, but it says zombie map exploit fix. It says clipping into a zombie spawn closet using revive mechanic in laboratory. Okay. And the last thing, fixed out of world exploits. So uh, that's pretty much it for zombies. So anyway, guys, that's all the general fixes and buffs and nerfs and stuff like that for World War II and update 1.05. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this. Unfortunately, domination is still uh, 50 points per kill, which is kind of stupid, but it is double XP this weekend. So make sure you guys are playing a lot this weekend. I'm definitely going to be playing a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.